Today we're going to be removing the driver and passenger seat belt from a 2012 Dodge Challenger RT and uh, we're going to be rewebbing those in red flame red seat belt webbing. The next step is to remove the baseboard trim and also the trim over the retractor. And the next step then is to remove the top screw from the retractor frame and then the uh, screw at the bottom of the retractor. You can get to it without entirely removing the panel trim. You simply need to get a uh, Torx adapter behind there, loosen it up, and then remove the retractor. To remove the pretensioner plug, you simply pry up the orange lock and you wiggle the plug out of the pretensioner. reverse the process and reinstall the seat belts. In order to extend the webbing from the retractor, it has to be at 90 degrees or vertical. If it's tilted at all, the webbing will lock and not extend. So once it's at 90 degrees, then it'll come out freely. The next step is to put the screw back into the top of the retractor frame. I want to make sure that the webbing is not twisted as it comes up out of the retractor. And then we're going to reinstall the bolts that hold the door post fitting up over the shoulder. I'm going to reinsert the trim back into the body. So these clips right here will uh, press into the rectangular slots on the body panel. Plug in the retractor. The pyrotechnic with the plug that goes in the car. So you'll orient the pins. Seat it firmly. And then push the orange lock clip down into place. The last piece is to reinstall the end fitting down by the floor. Again, it's the same tabs that will press into the body panel. There are four of them on this piece. 